Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. And today I come in at you with another Goodwill shop, Goodwill I should say, um, jewelry box. This is a seven pound craft jewelry box. Um, I had really good luck with my last craft box so I figured why not. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this for a pretty good deal. I don't remember off top of the hand what I paid for it, but I'll put it, I'll try to put it down below or, um, right here. But yeah, um, I actually bought it because I thought this was turquoise and obviously that is not turquoise. That is like some kind of metal or plastic. So that, <laughs> I bought it for that cross right here. I thought that cross was turquoise in the picture. It looked like turquoise. Obviously it is not. Um, but maybe, maybe there'll be something good in here. I don't know, um, but I, I'm assuming I probably pay between the $20 and $30 mark. That's where I like to try and stay at, um, but yeah, I figured for $20, $30, it was worth a gamble. Um, let's go ahead and open it up for my scissors. Um, <laughs> did I not grab my scissors? Where are my scissors? Oh, there are my scissors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you out. Back you up a tad, and I am going to open it. Guys, um, there is still construction going on um, at my neighbor's house. So you may hear some hammering. You may hear some nail guns. Um, so I am sorry in advance if you hear some stuff in the background. Also, hold on, my jewels. I'm going to leave that right there. Um, I am wearing, let me, let me show you what I've got on today. First of all, this stunning, stunning 925 and 18 karat gold ring that a lovely, lovely subscriber sent to me. I absolutely love this ring. It is citrine, uh, 925 and, um, 18 karat gold. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You know who you are. Um, I also love how they added the, um, like when you wear it. So it's not like, it's like curved. So your rings don't hit it. I absolutely love it. Um, it actually fits on all my ring fingers. So I can wear it on two, or I should say it fits two of my ring fingers. And then I'm also, oh, um, and that came from a lovely subscriber. I'm not going to say her name because I'm not sure if she wants me to. Um, and then I got this really, really cool Sodalite um, bracelet. I got this from Busy Bee Boutique on Whatnot. Um, Lisa Ward on YouTube. And yeah, I got this from one of her whatnot auctions and I absolutely love it. I love anything blue. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Um, Soda Light stretch bracelet and a citrine ring. All right, now let's get into the lot. And again, this is marketed as a craft lot. Okay, so if we receive things that are craft, it's, you know, I bought a craft lot. So, um... I do see some Mardi Gras beads, and those will go straight to you, Jennifer. Jennifer asked me to hold on to some Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras beads for her, and I will definitely be able to do that for her. Um, this is actually really cool. This is a art glass music note, and it is like a clip, maybe like a pocket, like you would clip this on a, um, like a men's shirt. Um, maybe it's a pendant. I don't know, but this is glass. It is glass. It's art glass. That is stunning. And then look up pile. Guys, I'm also looking for things to sell on whatnot, for things to sell myself, the things to sell to buy, sell trade stores. This was sold at um I don't know where that label is from. The Beeline group. The Beeline group for $15. Um, Mother of Pearl inlay, and I'm not sure it was at Rose Quartz, maybe. Really pretty. I love those. That's a good piece. I am planning on doing a all new with tags jewelry show, so that will be fun. It's pretty. That's really pretty. What is this? Let's see. Let's get you untangled, guys. And then <laughs> I swear these this 
I swear the um the um if I can speak today. <laughs> the craft jewelry lots are the ones that are the tangled the most. I think they do that on purpose. Um let's tilt you down a little bit. Actually, what I'm gonna do is make a little whiplash here in a minute. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. All right. Okay. Um. Oh Lord, now I forgot what I was talking about. This is pretty. This is angel with a little black stone. Um, angel with a little black stone. Um, and this is Yvonne. This is marked Yvonne. This is a good whatnot piece. Really pretty. Little angel rhinestone pendant. That's a good whatnot piece. Okay, let's see. Got a Fitbit cover. Fitbit cover. Fitbit cover. Oh, you're not even seeing any of this, guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, I did get a new setup. Well, it's not new. I just set it up differently. And I'm try still like train like playing around with it. Um, so let's see. I kind of I don't like this. Let's do that. There we go. So these are all Fitbit bands. i just might lock these up and put them on whatnot if anyone might want those. Um, no, this one's going in craft. It's like really disgusting, and I don't feel like cleaning it. But these two are in really good shape. This one's actually really cool. I like this geometric pattern. Oh my guys. Okay, so those, um, well, probably whatnot. Um, oh, and another one. Ooh, I see some, oh, I see like a very steampunky looking um, necklace. Um, what is this? This is made in China. Um, red, win red Nose Wednesday. Okay, I think, is that Walgreens? It's probably craft. Um, all right. And then, all right, we got some Mardi Gras beads. So this will be going to Jennifer, if you want them, Jennifer. If I can get them untangled, that is, with the, out of this necklace. Oh, man. There we go. All right, Jennifer, Mardi Gras beads for you. Um... Then we have this really very, very cool, very like steampunk boho charm necklace. Um, with like a feather and some really cool charms. That's really cool. Like that one. That's cool. That might put on whatnot. Little lace choker. Um, we have silver Mardi Gras beads, Jennifer. <laughs> um, and we have some red Mardi Gras beads. Um, it looks like these ones are like little face masks, maybe? What are these? Oh, I'm not face masks. Um, oh, what are they called? Eye mask, right? Is it an eye mask? Like little masquerade. All right. And then we have a little bracelet. This does not seem to be marked. Um, it does have quite a bit of wear on that, unfortunately. That's pretty. Um, it might be silver plated, so maybe I can like rub, um, use my cleaner on it. But as of right now, that's a no. Another one of these. Another one of these. None of these have it in it, and that was disgusting. Um, another one. <laughs> Ooh, what my. Okay, let's see. Let's can we find some actual jewelry? We have an earring, put that to the side. Okay, this is cool. Really pretty um antique gold tone. I like that with those really cool beads. It's pretty. Um, and we have a little silver tone chain. This still has like a let's see. Has like a little twist tie in my oh my lord 
is not coming undone. Okay, well, this is just a gold, uh, rose gold tone. It's missing one of the charms right there, so. Womp womp. We have a tassel. Um, no brand on that. Faux pearl tassel. Let's craft. We have some beads. We have a nasty earring. That's single. We have a bead. We have this. What's this? This is a oh mincy. Um, I find that brand every once in a while. A little key tag and a little bow key tag. So that's all craft. So all craft. Um is broken because the speed just popped right out of it yep let's craft okay i think this one might be a true craft lot guys <laughs> you know they all can't be winners let's see this is just a long um peachy coral beaded necklace all right sorry about that guys um had to adjust you guys a little bit so it's a peachy peachy pink coral little multi um beaded necklace um what is this this is broken it's missing a strand or two um we have just have a little eyeglass connector it's craft beads craft little empty bag craft we have a faux suede I don't know what this is, a shoelace, bolo tie, not sure. Craft, okay. Well, guys, we win some, we lose some. <laughs> um, what is this connected to? This, these are connected together. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, this is 18 karat gold tone. So 18 karat gold tone, but it has a ton of tarnish, so... So this is a pretty little pendant to get that out. Okay, what is this? This is a pen. This looks like Brighton. This definitely looks like Brighton. Um, hmm. I think they may have repurposed this. Um, but that looks like Brighton for sure. So I will use Google Lens on this, but I'm pretty sure this is a homemade piece. I mean, they took a Brighton necklace and they repurposed it. That I'm going to look up. Um, okay, we have an earring. That's another thing with these boxes. Usually I never get paired earrings. We have a rhinestone pendant and mesh. I, I don't know. Um... I find something good. Oh, this is pretty. It's filthy. It's pretty. Um, okay. Okay, um, this is broken. I might have to pause and like just get all the craft out. Well, then there might be no box left. <laughs> um, this is just a multi strand, probably like a Claire's or something necklace. That's just nothing. That's craft. Okay, this looks like maybe an origami owl. Let's see. Guys, this is really, really bad. Tangled. Okay, let's okay, get this out. Well, what can I just get off the top before I pause? Because I'm definitely going to have to pause today. This is insane. Okay, we have another one of these. Um, Yeah, I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to untangle some of this. Not all of it, but some of it. So it's, I can just show you guys some of it. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I'm just going to give you a little show you all that I had to untangle. It was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put you back in my tripod and I will show you what I untangled. All right, guys, you're back in the tripod. Um, I took off the bracelet because I was starting to get really dirty. Um, my hands were literally black. Um, there's a lot of really dirty pieces of jewelry in here. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you what I got. So everything's untangled as you can see. Um, and first thing is this antiqued silver tone charm necklace. It has some really cute little charms on there. It has cute little charms. A little angel, a little crystal, and it has this little tassel. Really cute double layer antique silver tone necklace. Um, let me move some things off the side so I can lay them out. Okay, there we go. So that was that. Let me show it again since that, I did a terrible job at showing it off. So it is a double layer and it has like this tassel here and this like little tassel there. So that will probably go to clothes mentor style encore. Next we have the silver tone chain. I think this might be a belt. Not 100% sure, but it might be a belt. Um, silver tone reason. Nope. Nope. It is a necklace. It is a necklace. There's one necklace in here that I think may be a belt. I don't know where I put it though. That one's cool. I'll pick that one up just to make sure it's not something crazy. Um, this is glass, but I don't know what this is. So this is a really cool like, blue glass little like tassel. Um, but this is the, this is the chain. It's very, very short. You can't even get this around your head. Um, and it's too large to be a bracelet. So not sure if this is a decoration, if this is made for like a door handle, um, Maybe you hang it outside, a wind chime maybe? I don't know. It's stunning glass beads though. Okay, next is a little antique silver tone. I actually thought this was going to be like a lucky brand. It is a not mart, but very pretty antique. Um, not like on whatnot. Um, this has a lot of wear, unfortunately. A lot of this stuff has wear. Um, and it says, I love you to the moon back. Cute little pendant. But that has a lot of wear. So it's craft. Guys, this is already what my craft looks like. Um, Jennifer, if you're watching, I got you a ton of Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've already threw a bunch in craft already. Um, move my pumpkin out of the way. This, I... Fixed. Oh, no, I didn't fix it. Okay, so this is still missing one rhinestone. I found one of the rhinestones. This rhinestone in the middle was missing, and the rhinestone right here was missing. I found one of the rhinestones. I'm still looking for the other rhinestone because I really like this necklace, and I really want to sell this necklace, but I can't sell it if it's missing a rhinestone. So let me show you what it looks like. It's really, really cool. It is a bunch of little um, antique gold tone, brass tone necklace, and it's really cool. It has all these layers, and it has this really cool pendant. But, again, I need to find that rhinestone. This is just a hot mess express. Um, this is also... <laughs> this one's not as bad. No, no, but it is. It's just a very, very tangled multi-layer necklace that's just a cheapy. Um, this is a, this is actually really pretty. This has no clasp, but it's all acrylic, little seed bead necklace. Let me untangle it, guys. I literally untangled all of this, and now it's all tangled again. But it's just an acrylic seed bead necklace. It's really nothing much. Um, this really pretty little, like, amethyst looking necklace. However, the, um... The chain is in really dirty shape, so that's probably craft. <clears throat> um, this is probably like a, I don't know, maybe like a paparazzi necklace or something. So that's craft. Um, this is really cool. This is a silver tone chain, and has a little pendant, little tassel. It's cute, just not probably you know, it's nothing quality. Um, this is like a fishing what is this called um it's not fishing lure but it's like the clear um thread 
and it has like the floating invisible these are real pearls i believe but the clasp is just silver tone which is interesting because usually if it's real pearls it's silver so really pretty little necklace there um, next, we have like a little cross. It's like a double layer cross. However, one of the rhinestones has like looks a little cloudy. So not sure if I'm going to sell that on whatnot or just take that to style awkward. Probably style awkward. This is just a, a knotted mess. I'm not even dealing with that. Um, this is just a pendant. It's cracked. All right, let's get to some good stuff. This is not marked but i guarantee this is silver um really pretty looks like amber chips turquoise chips um more turquoise pearls amber turquoise pearls and then like it's abalone this i do not think is silver um but the chain i think is so i think the pendant might be just silver plated I don't know if the whole thing could be silver plated, but I don't know. It looks like real amber and turquoise and pearls. So interesting. I think this one's gorgeous. Love this one. Love that necklace. Let's do another 925. This is a little 925 and a little um crystal heart pendant. And it like has like the sliding back. A little 925 chain. It's a really pretty little 925 heart pendant necklace. like that one. This is just a little fashion infinity. Nothing crazy. Um, let's see, this is a paparazzi necklace. Again, nothing crazy. Um, this is so cute. Um, unfortunately, this is after. Well, you'll see this after Christmas, but um, as of right now, it is like I think two days before Christmas or the day before Christmas. Um, and it's really pretty new on the card Cat Co um, necklace um, with all these little charms on it, like a little witch's hat and pom poms and little. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It's just really, really cute. And it has like this jack o' lantern jingle bell. Just a really, really cute Cat Co necklace. Again, after, well, when you see this, it'll be after Halloween, so. But I might list that, actually. I will list that for next year. This actually feels very, very quality. Like, this feels like maybe like a Madewell or a J. Crew. Um, It feels like real leather. So, this one I'm going to have to look into. We have a kid's little bangle, but it's actually a very, very nicely made bangle. Has a nice little bit of weight to it. Um, it's not gold I'm aware of, but it has these really pretty little crystals. And it looks like it's missing them right there. So I'm just gonna give that to my niece. All right, let's see. This is an art glass pendant. Art glass, ribbon thread, nothing crazy here. Probably a good whatnot item. This is Mart Premier Designs. It is a very, very, very antique brass gold tone pendant necklace and it is intentional that color it goes through the whole necklace so it's pretty with these little crystals pretty pretty that will probably be a whatnot item we have a cute little star necklace little glitter stars whatnot or um or sorry encore close mentor i do try to sell to them every once in a while so they don't forget about me <laughs> Um, this is a little tie pen. Cute little tie pen. Um, this is not branded, but I believe this is Avon. Um, I believe this is Avon, but it's not branded. Really cute little, um, little charms. Super cute. Let's look that one up. I did get a ton of Avon. This is an unbranded... Little necklace. Let's see. Little necklace. It's just all tangled again. I hate these kind of necklaces. They get, are like the worst. Um, this is all metal beads. And at first, I was like, "Oh, is this Monet or Jafari?" Um, it's not Mart, and the beads do have some tarnish. But I do want to try and clean that up because this is a very nice weight metal beads. Very cool to the touch. 
But right after I found that one, I did find a Monet. And this one is marked Monet. It is the Monet Signature Clasp. They have this clasp patent, patented, I believe. Um, but it is, again, just a silver tone. This is one is not graduated. It's all the same size. But really pretty, long, silver tone beads. It just feels so nice. Um, little silver tone metal bead necklace. That will be a me list. Um, another little necklace for my niece. It's a little heart with, like, a little glitter inside of it. Super cute little pin for her. Um, I believe another Avon. I believe that is Avon's clasp. Um, this one just has, like, little shoes on it. A little run green shoe. So it's cute. But it's put on and whatnot. Now, these are all marked Avon. So we have this green, um, green rhinestone Avon heart. It is marked Avon. Very pretty. I'm going to Google Lens those just to make sure it's not something crazy. Um, this one is not marked. Um, I don't know who makes this one, actually. What does that say? This actually could be Hallmark, maybe? I don't know. And it says, Best Mom Ever in Gold, Silver, and Rose Gold. What a cute little fashion necklace, I'm assuming. Best Mom Ever. Come on, focus. There we go. Super cute. Little pretty little stone. Um, this one is marked Avon. This is a um, it gives me very like 1928 vibes. Very pretty faux pearl with a little rose. That's 1928 or on um, Avon. Um, this one is also marked Avon. Very very stunning gold tone. I'm assuming gold plated with a purple like faux amethyst and CZs. Again, that one is marked Avon. And then <laughs> another Avon. Um, another little pretty little cross with like a, I'm not sure, is that like a garnet color, maybe? Um, this one looks like it might have a little bit of wear on the cross, so I'm gonna have to clean that one up. Very pretty. Avon. Alright, let's see. I think that might be it for the Avon, maybe. Oh, but the next was a super, super cute little llama necklace. So cute, the no drama llama. Um, next, okay, next are all Hallmark. So let's see, I have this really pretty silver tone Hallmark. Marked Hallmark. Super pretty little snowman. Next is a little dove. That is again marked Hallmark. Silver tone stainless steel. They are marked stainless steel um, Hallmark. This one is not marked. It's just a little pave um, star that has some wear, so I'm just going to give that to a friend. Put that right there. Um, we have this little snowflake. It is a silver toned snowflake that is also marked stainless steel um, Hallmark. So, stainless steel Hallmark, cute little snowflake. And then this one is absolutely stunning. It's like a mix between a snowflake and a cross with all those stunning, gorgeous rhinestone CZs. And this one is a Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee piece. Absolutely stunning. I love that one. Okay, next is just a fashion, but it is gorgeous. And my aunt will probably take this one. Super cute rose gold with that big oval rhinestone in the middle. Rose gold. Super pretty. My aunt will probably swipe that one. Um, let's see what else. This is broken. And I didn't get the, um, the rest of it. Okay, let's see. This is marked 925. This is marked 925 right there. I actually thought this was going to be a Silpata piece, but it is not marked Silpata. So I'm assuming it's not. Very, very pretty little pearl. And I don't know what those stones are. Is that Labradorite? It's like green Labradorite? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to really look it over. Um, but that is all 925 silver and little crystals. Super pretty. Love that one. I might keep that one. Another 925 piece is this little 925 little bar that has a J embossed into it. You can see that it's like a little J. 
a little under um, lowercase j, and that is 925. Um, I thought I had one more 925 piece. Hmm. Don't know what happened to it. <laughs> this is a little Tree of Life necklace, just a little fashion necklace. This is another little, um, like another J charm necklace. Um, it has two J's on it. So it has a J there, it has a J here. Really pretty. Really pretty little J necklace. Okay, next, this one is just a Claire. So this one's gonna go to my niece, full CZ rhinestones. I love that. Okay, next is this really cute antique brass gold arrow necklace. Really pretty. I have someone in mind who might like that, so I'm gonna save that for her. Okay, I do have one more 925 piece. Okay, this is marked 925. And guys, I need your help. So the, first of all, the class is broken. Um, that's an easy fixed fix, but this guys, is this angel skin coral? And if so, those are big chunks of it. So I don't know what this feels like cold, like a stone kind of looks, reminds me of like a shrimp. Um, but yeah, I don't, this looks like maybe Dalmatian Jasper. Oh my guys, there we go. This kind of looks like Dalmatian Jasper to me, but I don't know what the rest of these are. This looks like coral, right? That kind of looks like coral. Um, so I need you guys' help for this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this actually looks like a turquoise bead. Yeah, that is. That looks like a turquoise bead right there. Um, so yeah, I don't know any information on this other than that the clasp is broken, but the clasp is marked 925. So if you know anything about this, please let me know. Because <laughs> I do not. All right, let's see. Next, we have like a little fashion necklace. Um, let's see. This is a little. Oh, someone asked me for flamingos, and I can't. Was it Jo? Was it you, Joanne? Someone asked me for flamingos, and I found this little flamingo pendant. It has a magnet like in it, so I'm not sure what it was made for. However, it'd be good for thrifting. Like if you wear this when you go thrifting, it would pick up, you know, silver if it's not or not, if it's magnetic or not. So super cute. Might just give that to Joanne if that's who was asking for it. Next, I got a whole bunch of these like little shoe charms. I think this goes with that shoe Avon necklace, but not 100% sure. They are tarnishing, so it's going to craft. Um, let's see. This is marked. <laughs> what is it marked? This is marked Queen. No, no, no. It's not marked. At first, I got excited. I thought this was um Crown Trafari. But it's not. It is just a necklace that says queen on it. It just says queen. It's very tangled. But it says queen like that. Just a cute old-fashioned necklace. Um, this I'm probably just going to give to my niece again. It just says love and has these little crystals inside. I think she would love that necklace. So I'm going to give that to her. Um, next, we have these black vintage um, graduated beads. We have a little very, oh, this is worn out. I'm just going to put that in craft. Well, each ne necklace. Okay, next we have like a little gold plated, like little bow. I'm assuming this is Avon, but it's not marked. Okay, this is a cute little faux turquoise, possibly real. I don't know. That could be African turquoise um, little necklace. I don't think the clasp is silver, but I will test it because it kind of looks like silver. Hmm. That might test. This, I don't know what the heck this is. I think this is a hairband. Just this laugh. <laughs> it's a hairband, I think. All right. This is one of my favorite pieces, guys. I love this. So this is a seed bead and natural stone chip bracelet. It is a toggle and it can fit three different sizes. And I love this. There is so many pretty natural stones on this. There is um, um, sodalite, coral, amethyst. Um, not sure what that one is. Not sure what that one is. <laughs> um, maybe jadeite or that one's jadeite. This is goldstone. Um, I can't tell what that is. That looks like maybe a citrine or an amber chip. Um, aqua maybe. 
Um, what is this one? That looks like abalone. Just really pretty little chips on that. I love this bracelet. I may keep it. I don't know. I'll probably never wear it, but I just love it. I love that bracelet. Okay, my... <laughs> should I say my best to find for last, or should I show it right now? I bet you guys really want to see it. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, My best find was this. So this is a broken... It is broken. It was a broken 14 karat gold pen um, chain. So it is broken. Um, it is knotted and it's broken. It's broken in I think like four spots. Yep, there it is. There's one piece right here. Here's another piece there. Um, so it's a broken 14 karat gold chain. But guys, but guys, this cross right here is 14 karat gold. It's marked right there. 14 karat gold. And all of these really, really, really gorgeous, stunning baguette cut stones are diamonds. And I have my diamond tester right here to show you. So I'll turn that on. Let that warm up. And while that warms up, I'm going to go ahead and show off a couple other pieces. This is just a really, really stunning um, silver tone and crystal necklace that is marked LACN. Or, yeah, LACN. So, I'm not sure on a brand on that. And then this is a vintage rhinestone necklace. Now, you know me, I love my vintage rhinestones. Um, let's see. This was a really pretty faux turquoise necklace. Just fashion, but it's really pretty. I love my turquoise. That's stunning. Um, this is two more Avon necklaces. So here is another Avon necklace, marked Avon, with little um, gold tone hearts. It does have a little bit of wear. A little bit of wear on that one. And then the same with this one. This one is also an Avon heart. Again, it has some wear on the heart, but it is another Yvonne pendant. So lots of Yvonne today. All right, we have this heated up. Guys, I. There we go. Do it over here. So, guys, these are diamonds 14 karat gold in diamonds. Is that not stunning? <laughs> 14 karat gold and diamond pendant. I am probably 99% sure I'm going to keep this. I absolutely love it. It is mine. <laughs> so yes, I'll probably scrap this 14 karat gold. Um, I'll just save it with some other gold scrappings. But yeah, that cross made the whole box worth it. For sure. All right. That was my best find. <laughs> but don't leave yet. I found some other stuff. So I got this little collar necklace. I have this. Oh, this is marked. This is marked best. This is marked best. Okay, this needs to be. This is silver plated then. So I am going to need to polish that up because it does definitely have some tarnish on there. Best. Okay, we have a pretty little unbranded gun metal in red. Little necklace. Really pretty, just fashion, but pretty. This is marked Avon as well, but this one is very dirty. Very dirty. Um, I'm probably just gonna put that in craft. Um, we have another little cheapy little necklace. I'll probably just give this again to my niece, cousin. We have a little abalone um cuff bracelet. Cute little heart-shaped abalone cuff. Um, this one was cool. This is just interesting. It's all ribbon. So all ribbon. It's cool. This was a really pretty... Um, what is this? Four strand? Four strands of like glass and wood beads. And it's very, very long. It's a doubled. Very pretty. I like this. I like those colors together. 
Oh, I'll put that on my whatnot pile. We have this really pretty little pendant. It looks like there's a little bit of tarnish right here. So I'm uh, I'm gonna try and clean that. Looks like wood. Really pretty, unbranded, but again, really cool, pretty. Next, we have this little wooden Jesus necklace, like that. We have two, okay, one's faux pearl and one might be rice pearl necklaces. Um, so that's cool. We have a big hoop. We have this necklace that is interesting. Um, that's cool. Um, we have this necklace that is just a little cord and it has like a little piece of like maybe sea glass or just aqua colored glass. Pretty. Next is this stunning purple. It's like oil slick purple, all glass beads. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. Love this one. Love that one. Put my whatnot. Um, no, it's probably too heavy for whatnot. This I might need to test. It's not marked anything, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. Next was this really pretty ring. I don't know if I already showed this one or not. That's a really pretty ring. Has a little bit of wear though. And so is this. This is a really cool star necklace, but again, has wear. Um. This was the reason why I bought the lot, because I thought it was turquoise. It's obviously not turquoise, but it is a very, very heavy, nice quality necklace. So this is the pendant, and it's gold tone chain, and it goes to like this faux pearl end. So I don't know if this is indicative of a brand or not, but it is really pretty. I'm definitely going to be using my Google Lens on that. Same with this necklace. These feel like real natural stones. Um, and really pretty natural stones at that with glass beads. But this is the this is the pendant. It's a all like shredded linen fabric. <laughs> it's kind of it's very interesting to say the least. Um, so I'm gonna check that out. Don't have my hopes set too high on that. Um, another little vintage um, rhinestone necklace. Really pretty. Um, we got this. Um, what is this? This is the... This is the... Masterpiece? No. Secret Keeper Girl. Secret Keeper Girl. Never heard of it. It's a little charm necklace. It's interesting. This I thought might be Avon just because it was tangled up with the other Avon pieces. But again, it's not marked, but it is stunning. Love that necklace. The white fringe. And it goes to like the seas. It goes to these pretty beads and then goes to the white chain. So just really cool, interesting necklace. I'll probably go on whatnot. Okay, next is this little necklace. This is not going to whatnot. That's just we're going to go to like the Star Encore Close Mentor now and know if they'll take it. Um, oh, this was a really cool one. This is a little charm bracelet. Um, but I don't know who makes this. There's a little um, Hawaiian girl. Has a little like beach with a palm tree. This one is the one that's smart. Right there. But I can't figure out what that says. There. Is he sterling? This says sterling. This is not sterling. They wouldn't paint over sterling. Now I have to um I'll have to Google lens that. It's really pretty. Um let's see. That's that, that's that. Okay, we had this like hair thing. Okay. And then we got this silver tone cuff. And then we got this really, really, really cool owl that is actually marked Avon. It is marked, or not marked Avon, but it's marked um, SHB, which is, I believe, an Avon mark. SHB. I love that owl. And I know several people who like owls, so you guys will have to fight among yourselves for that. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, I got this little heart, um, 
heart with a rose. So that is it. Um, the only earrings I got were these paparazzi that look like they have the match. Everything else looks like it is, again, all singles. No matches whatsoever. <laughs> like usual. But yeah, um, overall, this is a really, really... Oh, this was the one that's marked 925. We had one earring that's marked 925. Again, no match. So again, that is everything I got in my box. Um, obviously the best piece was the 14 karat gold and diamond pendant. Um, the couple silver pieces that I received. Um, and then we got a bunch of Avon and a couple Hallmark pieces. So overall, I think this was a win. Again, thank you so much guys for, um, coming and watching my video. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. It, if you would please hit the heart button as well. And if you would even go a step further and make leave a comment with either like your favorite piece or just comment anything, um, that'd be great. Helps the algorithm and I get a little bit more views that way. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.